Civilization at last. And I think it's safe to say we're not being followed anymore. For now, at least. Two travelers come. Their timing is auspicious as the day's new dawn. My bathhouse awaits. Savor its steamy embrace as frogs do spring rain. Rejoice, honored guests, for to mark this happy day, you may sweat for free. Um, we're kind of busy to be sweating. Thanks. Appreciate the offer, though. Too busy to bathe? Too busy to wash away the scent of the road? Okay, maybe I'm not at my freshest. Fine, I'll visit your bathhouse if it means that much to you. Might as well go sweat off the journey while we have the chance. I'll see you in there, okay? The winds bring a guest. Joyfully, I shall guide him to where bliss awaits. Search elsewhere. Oh, fine. If you're going to be a complete pighead about it, I'll go and ask the guards by the gate instead. <gasps> hmm? Ooh, what do we have here? Well, are you going to tell me your name or not? be worse, I suppose. Listen, you and I need to talk, but my little sister is missing, so I have to go and find her first. I never thought I'd finally meet you in a place like this. It's funny how things work out.
Finally. I was wondering where you'd got to. Come join me. This turned out to be a pretty good idea. We've got the place to ourselves, so we may as well enjoy it. We've earned a little break, wouldn't you say? Can't take it easy for too long, though. Sooner or later, those creeps are going to catch up with us. So, you've been scoping out the town, huh? See anything interesting? Ah, her? Yeah, she was sniffing around here, too. She's way too young to be hanging around in bars, though. No wonder they kicked her out. I don't envy her, having a kid sister to run around after. They have a habit of causing headaches. <laughs> Where are you? Uh, did you just say something? Is that a g g <laughs> I can't find you anywhere. <sighs> you scared us there for a second. What are you doing in here? <laughs> I was waiting. <laughs> Take a bath, but, but you never came back. <laughs> Where did you go? Why, why did you leave me all on my own? <laughs> Sounds like she's lost someone. <gasps> Wait, this must be the girl whose big sister's looking for her. Why don't we see what we can do to help? How about you dry your eyes and tell us your name, kid? Uh, uh, I'm Connie. Nice to meet you, Connie. Why don't you come with us and we'll help you find whoever it is you're looking for. I'm have telling you, you I haven't seen not? your sister. Well, well, what do you know? Looks like she's picking fights with grown-ups again. <sighs> I wish they told me they only 
you let complete pigheads live in this stupid town before I bothered coming here. <gasps> oh, it's you. Hey, kid, good news. We found your sister. Why so shy? Aren't you pleased to see your big sis? You're looking so pleased with yourself. That's not my sister. I've never seen this girl before in my life. Huh? Uh, I don't have any brothers or sisters. I've lost my daddy. Gosh, where do I start? Did you not think of, I don't know, maybe asking her who she was looking for instead of jumping to idiotic conclusions? Listen, short stuff. I'm not gonna let a little brat like you speak to me like that. <sighs> I hate to point this out, but you don't have time to be standing there getting your knickers in a twist. You've got a daddy to find. Listen, I want to talk to the owner of that bar, but I can't get in there on my own. Can I come with you? Thanks. I'll never get in there otherwise. You're a lifesaver. I'm Veronica, by the way. Right, let's get going, shall we? I'll look after this little one. Don't worry, you don't have to rely on these two dunderheads anymore. We'll find your daddy in no time. You'll see. <laughs> Thank you. Kids these days, huh? No respect for their elders. Well, looks like we don't have much choice. Let's hit the bar. Welcome to our inn, a safe haven in life's storm. Come and make merry. <gasps> Warnings unheeded, the fish returns to the tree. What can deter her? She's with us. Do you have a problem with that? Understanding door. Fish has a chaperone. She is uh, welcome here. <coughs> no one's sitting here, are they? Service, if you please. Huh? <sighs> a fearsome young pup. Perhaps tea will soften her. A fine, warming brew. That sounds lovely, but I don't have time for tea, I'm afraid. I'm looking for someone. I'll get straight to the point. There's a girl called Serena. Blonde hair, looks a lot like me. Have you seen her? Serena. Yes, now I recall. The young girl sought her sister, but left without joy. Be her. Did she say where she was going? Westward, she wandered, sensing her sister, she said, guided by voices. Huh? Westward? Oh, the idiot must have gone to help me, and I was already back here. Oh. I was kidnapped, you see. I was in the bathhouse when some monsters attacked me. They took me off to their lair. I managed to escape. So I came back to find Serena, but it looks like now she's gone to try and rescue me. Right, you lot. You're no ordinary travellers. Anyone with eyes can see that. I don't have time to explain all the ins and outs of it right now, but I need you to help me go and find my sister. Are you in? I knew you wouldn't let me down. Are you leaving? I want to come with you. Sorry, you're staying put. But don't worry, I think I know where your dad might be. 
We'll find him for you. So be a good little girl till we get back. You do realize you're a little girl too, right? You sure you're going to be able to keep up? <laughs> you're talking to? Veronica, sage of Arborea and mighty magician, can keep up with riffraff like you any day. I'm more worried about you slowing me down, if I'm completely honest. Right, let's head west, shall we? The monster's lair is a giant underground labyrinth out that way. I'm pretty sure we'll find Serena in there somewhere. The entrance is on the coast. Exactly who you are, you know. Don't let me down. <laughs> 